Hi, let's take a question on the total derivative and see how to solve it. The question says, find the total derivative if z is equal to 9x minus 7y or divided by 2x plus 5y given y is equal to 3x minus 4. Now, when the question says we should find total derivative, it means we should find dz over dx or dz over dy not partial z partial x no dz over dx or dz over dy but since we have the value of y separately y is given as 3x minus 4 separately then let's find dz over dx rather okay so to solve that this is the formula we are going to use we say dz okay is equal to this is a total derivative formula z is equal to partial z partial x dx plus partial z partial y dy if at this side if at this side you were to have about three variables like x y and q it would have continued up to plus partial z partial q dq something like that okay. now after writing this since i would like to find dz over dx because I can easily get dy over dx. So since I would like to find dz over dx, then I have to divide through by dx. So when I divide through by dx, dz divided by dx will give you d, dz dx, okay, equals partial z partial x. When you divide this place by dx, it becomes one. So that's why nothing comes after partial z partial x plus partial z partial y times dy over dx because you divide through by dx so you have dy over dx here now the reason i divided through by dx is that so that i can have dy over dx here okay because i can easily get dy over dx from this separate equation here now let's find each of these three one by one and then substitute to get z over dx now Partial z partial x to be equal to, we are finding the first term, partial z partial x. Partial z partial x should be equal to the partial derivative of z with respect to x. Now, when you look at this function, the, this equation where z is equal to 9x minus 7y divided by 2x plus 5y, you realize that to differentiate this, the best we can do is to use the quotient rule. Okay. And the quotient rule states that we should use vu prime minus should be a minus not a plus minus uv prime divided by what v square okay that's what we should use so if that is the case then what is the v the v should be the denominator and the u should be the numerator okay so let's substitute that then now the v is 2x plus 5y, isn't it? Which is the denominator. And u prime means we should differentiate the numerator, which is u, with respect to x. Because we are saying partial z, partial x. So when you differentiate the numerator, that is 9x minus 7y. Differentiate it with respect to x, you get only 9, right? So we substitute it there. Minus we also take u. u is the numerator, which is 9x minus 7y. So let's substitute it here as well. Multiplying v prime. v prime means we should differentiate the denominator with respect to x. So when we differentiate the denominator 2x plus 5y with respect to x, we get 2 only. Okay. But x has a degree of 1 as an exponent. So we get 2. So we substitute here as well. All divided by v square. What are b? Our b is 2x plus 5y, isn't it? So we say 2x plus 5y square. Now, to simplify this, partial z partial x will be equal to 9 times 2x should give you that should give you 18x. Okay. Then positive 9 times positive 5y should give us positive 45y. Then positive 2 times positive 9x should give you positive 18x. 
then multiply by the negative outer the bracket here. it gives you negative 18 x then positive 2 times negative 7 y should give you negative 14 y multiply by the negative outside there gives you positive 14 y all divided by 2x plus 5y squared now this negative 18x can cancel this positive 18x that is 18x minus 18x is 0 then 45y plus 14y will give us what that will give us 59y so you give us 59y divided by 2x plus 5y squared so partial z partial x is equal to 59y over 2x plus 5y all squared then let's also find partial z partial y because the first one here is partial z partial x so to get partial z partial y we are still using the quotient rule remember for quotient rule you let the numerator be u and the denominator be v now if the numerator is u and then the denominator is v let's substitute the denominator which is v first so we have 2x plus 5y multiplying u prime u prime means we should differentiate the numerator with respect to y this time around because we are looking at partial z partial y now when you differentiate the numerator with respect to y you get negative 7 but y has a degree of 1 so let's substitute the negative 7 minus then recall u u is also 9x minus 7y isn't it so we substitute multiplying v prime v prime means we should differentiate v which is the denominator with respect to y so when you differentiate 2x plus 5y with respect to y you get positive 5 so we substitute there all divided by v prime our v is 2x plus 5y then we square it okay v squared now let's simplify the numerator so to simplify the numerator negative 7 times positive 2 x should give you negative 14 x we have negative 14 x negative 7 times positive 5 y will give you what i'll give you negative 35 y and then this positive 5 here times 9 x positive 9 x is positive 45 x multiply by the negative outside here you have negative 45 x then positive 5 times negative 7 y will give you negative 35 y multiply by the minus outside here that will give you positive 35 y all divided by 2x plus 5y squared now at this stage this negative 35y can cancel this positive 35y so minus 35y plus 35y is 0 that's the meaning and then minus 14x minus 45x should give you minus 59x okay divided by the denominator which is 2x plus 5y squared so now we know partial z partial x and we also know partial z partial y now we are left with dy dx and we can easily get dy dx from this equation so let's find out also so dy dx should be equal to it means differentiate y with respect to x this one we use d because there's only one variable at the independent side so it's a total derivative straight okay so dy dx should be equal to you know x has an exponent of one when we subtract one from that exponent it becomes zero x exponent zero is one and one times three is three so dy over dx is equal to three so now we know partial z partial x we know partial z partial y and we know dy over dx so we can substitute into this to get dz over dx so dz over dx will be equal to now what was partial z partial x it was 59y over 2x plus 5y all squared so it's substitute plus partial z partial y is also negative 59x over 2x plus 5y squared times 
d y over d s which is 3. So, d z over d x will be equal to 59 y over 2 x plus 5 y all square plus when this 3 multiplies 59 x negative 59 x you give you negative 177 x then we divide by 2 x plus 5 y squared so the z over the x will be equal to now you learn in mass that whenever you are adding two fractions having the same denominator you can just maintain the denominator ones and then operate the numerators with respect to the sign affecting them so we say 2x plus 5y squared at the denominator, okay? And then we add the exponents. So that will be 59y plus negative 177x. And that will give us 59y minus 177x. So the z over dx is equal to 59y minus 177x, all divided by 2x plus 5y squared. Okay, so that's the final answer to this. In the next video, we take another practice question and see how to solve. Thank you.